On a cold winter's night at Edelwein Academy, a group of girls led by Alice are performing a ritual in the bathroom to contact the spirit of a girl that died there some years earlier. They chant into the mirror. Carrie is very skeptical, but they hear a noise behind them and everyone is spooked. They go to investigate and find a bathtub filled with blood. Bethany climbs out of the tub and Carrie runs. However, it was a prank played by the two girls. The others are not amused. In her room, Carrie hears a noise and calls out who is there. The girls hear a scream but believe that it's just another prank. They go to check her room anyway, but she's not there. They look out the window and see her prone body laying on the ground below. Sometime later, a girl named Camille joins the academy. She is warned by Principal Landry that she will need to work hard to keep up with the other girls by joining at this late stage. It is explained that a space only became available because of Carrie's accident. Helena shows Camille to Carrie's old room. As Helena leaves her, the light flickers on the wall and goes out. Camille joins the other girls in the study hall. Yvonne and Lenora tell her to move from the table that she's sitting at, but she refuses. Helena tries to help, but then Alice, Bethany, and Rosaline join them. Alice knocks a glass of water over Camille and the other girls chuckle. Camille hits Alice, but then the other girls all gang up on her while Helena is held back. They are interrupted by Mrs. Landry, who demands they all go to her office. Camille will not tell her who started the altercation, despite all being threatened with punishment. That night, the lights go out in Camille's room. When they flash on, there is a figure in the corner and Camille gasps. She checks under the bed, but when she looks up, there is a shape under her bed sheets. Camille wakes with a start as someone knocks on her door. It is the maintenance man, Trevor, Mrs. Landry's son. He is there to fix the light. Camille leaves him there while she goes to class. In class, the teacher explains that male actors used to dress up to perform female roles wearing masks similar to those that they have all or recently designed. The teacher asks Camille a question, but when she cannot answer, she is admonished for not doing the reading. It is revealed that Bethany has won a scholarship because of an essay she submitted. It will be published in the Edelwein Gazette and the girls are encouraged to read it. The girls meet Mrs. Landry in the library for detention. Everyone grumbles, but Alice suggests that they all put their differences aside and just get on with the task assigned. Camille and Helena collect some books from the basement. In the distance, there is a figure watching, but as Camille turns towards it, it disappears and a laugh can be heard. A book falls from the shelves and through the gap, Camille spots a masked face. She is grabbed through the shelves and panics, but it's only Yvonne and Lenora who laugh at her. Helena warns them that one day they will mess with the wrong person. Camille and Helena discuss Carrie's accident and Helena mourns the fact that they may never know what happened for sure. Alice interrupts telling them that there is a way to find out. They go back to the library and hold a seance. Camille asks where Lenore is, but Yvonne says that she is not feeling well. Camille has already spotted her in the corner and thinks that they are trying to scare them. The lights go out and candles are lit. They use a homemade planchet and call out to the spirits. Suddenly, it starts to write and the spirit identifies itself as Carrie. It goes on to say that she will kill you. The planchette hits the candle and they are plunged into darkness. Camille lights a flame and reveals a masked face. Mrs. Landry walks in and switches on the lights before shaking her head and leaving. The girls admit that the plan was to scare the others, but this wasn't them. They also admit that the ritual they performed the night that Carrie died was real. Afterwards, Lenora is alone outside in the dark and takes a selfie. She notices a masked figure hiding behind a tree in the photograph and calls out, but she is stabbed by an unknown assailant. Her body is dragged away. Helena goes to Camille's room and Camille asks her about Carrie. Camille tells her that her grandmother used to say that if someone dies in a horrible way, then the energy prints on the surroundings. Helena assures her that Carrie was a good person. Mrs. Landry is teaching a ballet class when she receives a message concerning Lenora. She asks the girls to meet her in the office after class and remarks to Camille that her dancing is not at the level that she had been led to believe. 
She asked the girls if they have had contact with Lenora. She hasn't been seen since yesterday, and most of her personal belongings have gone. Afterwards, Camille wonders if Trevor would have a key to her room and arranges to meet him in the dorm. He arrives and reluctantly lets them in. Lenora's suitcase is missing. As they leave, Yvonne pulls back the bed covers to reveal a symbol written on the sheets in blood. Mrs. Landry tells them that the police will be informed and tells Trevor that she will speak to him later. In the library, the girls research Alicia, the girl that died at the school in 1998. They find her picture in the yearbook and find the same symbol hanging from her necklace. That night as Rosaline showers, the bathroom is plunged into darkness. She goes to investigate and finds blood in the drain. Suddenly, she is attacked from behind. Camille comes to the bathroom and discovers Rosaline's body. Mrs. Landry announces the news to the girls, but tells them that it appears that she slipped in the shower. Helena comes to check on Camille, and they lay in bed together smoking. Camille presents her with a police baton for protection. Bethany is going to bed when she hears a noise and sees a masked figure. She screams and runs from her room. The other girls check inside before Mrs. Landry arrives. She tries to assure them that it was just a dream and sends everyone back to bed. Next morning, Camille receives a message from Helena. She had a text from Alice saying to skip class and to meet in the study hall. When they arrive, the girls are planning to hold a seance to contact Rosaline. They perform the seance in the same manner as before and the planchette moves, confirming that it is Rosaline and that she was murdered by Camille. Camille says that this is rubbish, but Alice punches her. Camille walks out, but the other girl suggests calling the police. Yvonne leaves alone to practice her dancing, but spots a masked figure as she pirouettes. It runs at her and stabs her. During the night, Camille reaches for a glass of water when her hand is grabbed. She hides under the sheets, but finds Carrie is there. She wakes with a startle. Camille goes to Helena's room to sleep, claiming that her room is definitely haunted. They tenderly hold hands for comfort. Alice receives a text from Yvonne, telling her to come outside as she is with Lenora. Camille hears her leave and follows with a knife, but she is hit by a masked figure. Outside, Alice calls for Yvonne and follows the light of a phone. She discovers a body tied to the tree before she is hit by the masked figure. Camille regains consciousness, but is tied to a chair with Alice in the library. The masked figure circles them wielding a hammer. When another masked figure appears, warning that she will scream. Trevor removes the mask and says that no one will hear them back here. The other figure is revealed to be Bethany. Bethany reveals that she actually copied one of Carrie's stories to win the scholarship. She realized that she would be in trouble as everyone would know that she had plagiarized. So she had to keep everyone distracted. Trevor also admits to killing Alicia when he was little. He thinks that his mother guessed the truth and put him into therapy. Meanwhile, Helena wakes and sees Carrie in her room. She dismisses it as a dream, but as she looks out the window, she can see light coming from the library. Camille is slowly cutting her bonds. Bethany uses Alice's nails to scratch Camille's face and then takes the knife from her. She plans to use it to stab Alice. Camille scoffs and reveals that she only came to the school to pay off a debt. Suddenly, the lights go out, and as Bethany goes to check the breaker, Camille gives Trevor one last chance to untie her. As he presses the blade to the girl, Helena arrives and hits him over the head and unties her friend. The lights come back on, and they carry Alice through the library. They run into Bethany, who knocks out Helena. Camille and Bethany fight ferociously. Camille eventually knocks her out with the light fitting, but is in turn knocked out by the piece of ceiling that she managed to dislodge in the process. Bethany comes to first and reaches for a knife, but as she struggles to her feet, Camille kills her. She then returns to Alice and Helena and tells them what happened. She tells them that she thinks that there is a ghost, but it didn't kill their friends. Camille instructs them to call the police while she checks on Trevor. He has gone, so she searches for him. He is stalking through the library and finds Bethany's body. He can see Camille through the shelves and pushes it on top of her, but she stabs him in the leg. She tells him that she only had one friend growing up and pushes a filing cabinet to kill him. It turns out that Carrie was her best friend and she returns to her room and packs her things before leaving. Helena sees her leave 
and confronts Camille about what she did. Camille admits that that is not her real name. She just used this alias to get into Edelvine Academy to avenge her friend. Now she has to leave before the police arrive. Helena asks how she can contact her if she needs to. Camille comes forward and they kiss passionately before she turns to leave. Camille notices Carrie's ghost waving at her as she leaves and she waves back. Helena thinks that she is waving to her and gives a half smile before they part. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.